welcome back to our <coughs> office 365 course um mail flow the next is message trace hmm, interesting so they moved the message trace to the protection center as well that is good because <coughs> i saw the thing over there it should be mail flow right here so I saw the um, remember the other day we were not seeing the anti spam you click on dashboard under threat management and right there um, anti phishing or what was this so one of them this one anti spam so you get this page so basically what I we were talking about is that you don't want to scramble around when somebody asks you hey where exactly is it and you're actually going and clicking on one by one so from the dashboard is this one and this is and when I talked about the other one I saw the quarantine yes the quarantine message uh, when I clicked on it I saw my mess email over here so this is the area right there so I, I remember I added this email address to the list and then when I sent a test message uh, 13 11 no I did not send it I send it oh okay so I sent it basically yesterday um, about 24 hours ago and it will expire on 13 January like it will be removed from here so you have about two weeks to recover it from here like uh, well when a user tells the admin admins can come here and release it I believe release message right there so we will come back to it later on right now we want to go to the mail flow and then message trace uh, let's click on dashboard as well this is exciting this is new um, if I can make my this one bigger all right so mail flow map this is internet office 365 mail flow outbound inbound it's like what's going on uh, one versus the other there are no alerts that's good that's good SMTP authenticated clients so it's getting a lot um, by looking at it it's um, overwhelming and it's getting uh, uh, a lot complicated like the that interface uh, I exit out of it that was so much easier and you know um, simple this one is top domains mail flow status that the email is coming from uh, let's click uh, mail.protection.outlook.com so a little bit uh, change here that's my domain there's another domain I have made done so I actually saw it somewhere else too so let's get back to the mail trace how do you trace the mail mail flow inside we can customize it from here what's are in there Oh, the tiles okay all right so let's go to the mail trace so in mail trace we have starter trace we can refresh i think that will be refreshed is this list we have five cu queries message received by my primary domain in the last can i do that no <coughs> so messages that sent uh, i'm sorry i said received sent from my primary domain in the last uh, uh, day you to oh you yeah, click on it so it opens up here uh, that were sent from this domain uh, one day I can search more search options so delivery status message ID the message ID is always in the email itself uh, because when we ask a user if they're like spam email that asking them for uh, something personal and they say hey is this email from you so we tell them to forward the email as an attachment so the message ID in the header gets saved uh, in the email be because um, 
then the like the engineers or the in uh, security up op team uh, they look at the message header and then find the id and then investigate it because if you just forward it they will all they will receive is the message id of the email that you forwarded and not what you forwarded if it so you that's the message id is always in the header of that email direction which direction was it incoming or outbound and original ip client address client's ip address that machine sends client and all that fun stuff choose report type what kind of report you want you want a summary you want an enhanced summary that could you can download or you want the extended report we get with the summary and search i just sent all right did i send it oh yes so just if you see just now before making this video i sent this email uh for another purpose but it served here as well so it's showing me all the email that were sent in the last day that's good let's go and click on that was it that we clicked right oh message received by my primary domain in the last one this is interesting let's and the options are exactly the same i am pretty confident so let's just search it this time and this will be my friend ali oh aslan received one that i he, see weekly digest i was talking about so he got the digest from o365 and c i should go and check what this is so this is the status uh um everything got delivered um Sam Slav sent him Aslan sent an email to Ali so these are it was in turn in, in sender and receiver uh, were internal this one is external sender to an internal sender and this is from Microsoft to us everything got delivered if I what will happen if I click on it uh, click trace details Wow okay so this is the received processed and delivered status was delivered delivery time 5.849 this is utc obviously not uh, e eastern time i don't know why maybe i have to set up in the office um more information is here message event oh this is cool stuff so you see it eight for eight minute and 48 second it was received 848 transport rule apply html spam diagnostic the spam rule that it was applied to it and it passed so it was submitted and then it was delivered that's cool more let's click on more that's the message id right there so i'm pretty sure if i go and open that email i will see this message id in that as well there's form ip address is this but there is no two ip address I believe that is why because Ali has not opened it yet so uh, how do I close it <laughs> okay close right there so let's get back to like let's go open this one as well I want to see the from address you see the uh, IP address is different and Sam's Club as well let's click out of it I want to go back to received and a sent uh, sent and is it saying that uh, for search delivered St ah this one like it's so basically delivered mean that it was not well, I'm assuming that th this delivered mean because it's external Gmail they may not have like it's uh, what's the mm, um the mail flow rules on the on that domain so i think delivered mean is it was out of our system so if they uh, want um like that user that external user tells our user in our end hey what's happening i never received that email so they will investigate on their end his um admin but our this user will tell us or our admin and our admin will tell him hey yeah it passed in like uh, it it 
uh, that mail flow rules is not stopping or quarantining or deleting it in our end it it was out of our system it was sent so I want to check that what's this button view message detail show us exactly what we saw and let's go and related records message events exam receive submit uh, spam diagnostics send external okay so I was right to assume send external message sent to and that's why it's saying over there delivered so I was right to assume what I assumed let's close it close it out let's get to the third one summary reports messages pending delivery to user in my organization let's see search so no data available because nothing is pending uh, because it's not being stopped I think that's the rules like when the we saw in the mail flow like if just stop the email do not process it so nothing to see here unless they show quarantine and separately I'm um, good yes all quarantine messages good so quarantine does not fall over there so this message is being quarantined you see the status I can click on it and then you see it was received processed then when uh, that spam filter that we set up earlier in, in that uh, it got stuck like it applied it you know got stuck it says to release the message follow this step go to the quarantine page we are not going to the quarantine page in this video because we are just doing the message trace we're gonna do the quarantine like uh, in a different video and I am hoping that more email messages will be stuck on that page all right um it's only still one so I'm hoping more or I have to send some few more emails all right um, no let's go and search again and see if there is any more information uh, message events so it received spam so receive spam quarantine no detailed information available so spam diagnostic was applied to it it was received again using this blah 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 that you would okay and sent mess I Hamid dot mail dot protection and then it was sent to quarantine that is the mail flow right here so basically we can look at it and see exactly where at what time it was stopped so ah interesting thing it received it was received at 55 and it took it the system four minutes to you know do its thing and then finally making the decision that it is going to the quarantine and it's a good thing it went because that's how we set up that uh, filter and all failed messages for the last seven days I hope not because uh, we haven't used it yet you see uh, so all that's the date range we can come on I need to change this date all right so what are the custom core queries that will be queries created and saved by admins are there no that would be straight to trace here auto saved queries will be auto save I think these are all the one that we just ran uh, yep so these are all the queries we just did you see the date and the time and if you see time and date here they match download able reports there's nothing because if you remember in the settings we just got the quick summary and we never clicked on the uh, downloadable or extended summary so let's go back and click on the first one choose the report type in enhanced mo summary that is downloadable as well we click next oh there was an option to save as well I think that would be the custom queries and prepare report prepare our report and either show us or it will be shown when the report is written on will send a notification so basically what it's gonna do is that it's gonna take some time to make that report and then admin will receive an email hey your um, report is ready and 
the admin should receive a notification or it will show up here as well as one let's click on refresh and there it is so whatever I am zooming so far is working so message trace report right here enhance summary that's what we wanted message where is the download button where is my download button so probably it's still being worked or because there are only zero messages we can close this so that's how you get the downloadable thing that you can check let's refresh it one more time and see nope because there are zero messages quick um, I'm glad it's good so this is about um, all of everything about the message trace I really was looking forward to this and I am happy it's very easy though the interface is overwhelming if this video has helped you please consider subscribing sharing commenting or rating uh, and you have a good night